I can't say for sure, but what I can say is this. You see how pale the skin surrounding the needle is? His heart had already stopped pumping blood. This syringe was injected post-mortem. However, I did find a couple of wounds which suggest earlier injections. Cardiac arrest brought on by a toxic exposure to dimethoxymethane, probably injected. I've only run a preliminary tox screen, but I'm sure the full tox panel will bear out the results. Killed by dimethoxymethane? That's the same stuff used to wipe down his katana. There's got to be a connection. Nope, I've found no defensive wounds. I placed the syringe on the tray there, if you'd like to take a closer look. I placed the syringe on the tray there, if you'd like to take a closer look. Racking up murder weapons at an alarming rate. Another hair. Could be a strange coincidence, or we could have a killer who's shedding. Yeah. I'm going to need to see some evidence before I go to a judge. Willingham may be giving his fighters a little too much help. We need to learn more about his operation. Okay, you got it, but remember, this is not a fishing expedition. The search warrants very specific. You're looking for items that will directly link Willingham to one or both of the murders. Fellas, how's it going? What can I do for you? We have a warrant to search these premises. A warrant? Is that right? Geez, it's really coming down to this now, isn't it? Mr. Willingham, your fingerprints were found on a vial of steroids at the scene of Hank Hackett's murder. You'll excuse me while I go talk to my lawyer. A leather desk. Classy. Wow, I'd say there's about $5,000 here with a note that reads, thanks but no thanks, initials RS. Oh, looks like Rick Shimada might have wanted to refuse a gratuity. What's in this exactly? I'm not sure, but hey, that's why they invented the lab. You have to knock out a whole lot of guys to get this many trophies.
Hey, I've seen some of these fights. We haven't met yet. I'm Riley Adams. I know I'm making a heck of a first impression here, but I'm stumped. I have the strangest chemical sample, a spot of brown sludge from the floor of our crime scene. I can't figure out what it is. Maybe you can take a look. Crude oil, seawater, seagull guano, and chewing tobacco. Nick did say one of our suspects had been a longshoreman. Thanks, you've been a huge help. Oh, and nice to meet you. Dimethoxymethane. That's the metal cleaner that was found in Hackett's system, all right.
the very same metal cleaner that was used earlier. This is not gonna look good on Willingham's permanent record. It's a match. The same person was involved in both crimes. Only question is, which person? What evidence do we have? All right, let's see what Mr. Willingham has to say for himself now. Well, Horace, care to explain why you have the same metal cleaner used you to kill... You know what? Save your breath. I'm ready to talk. So here it is. After the fight, I overheard Hank arguing with Rick. And then Rick said he'd go to the press, tell everybody about how it was all a fake, how it was all one big rip-off. Truth was, I was juicing that night, too. <laughs> You'd believe it. Old habits dying hard and all that. Suppose it was the roid rage that got the better of me. After Hank left, I grabbed that sword and snuck down into the ring. I didn't cut him. I just beat him to hell with it. But the stupid thing broke in two, so I grabbed the microphone cord and strangled him with it. And then Hank gets blamed for the whole thing. <laughs> I knew he couldn't keep his damn mouth shut, so I did what I had to do. I tell you, it was pretty easy, too. Hank hated needles, so I was the one who usually gave him his medicine. I filled his syringe with that metal cleaner, and then gave Hank his last injection. I deeply believe I have a moral obligation to fulfill here. A moral obligation to the truth. And to certain people, the League, I don't want to hurt them any longer. It was me, and me alone. I take full responsibility. I, Horace Willingham, killed them both. got us Williams DNA when he confessed so let's take a look here I knew it Williams DNA doesn't match the hair at the crime scene I had a feeling that confession was too easy there must be someone else involved I'll tell Brass not to take Willingham away just yet his briefcase was already checked in as evidence so take a look inside and see if you can find anything Check this out. Supreme Force Fighting's request for a $50,000 loan to expand into a women's league was just turned down. Oh, and look at the co-signer on the loan, Tina Allens. Funny, she never mentioned she was a part owner. It's a bet for $10,000 on Hackett to lose last night's fight. He was a heavy favorite, so this slip is worth 50 grand. Except the bet wasn't made by Willingham. It was made by Tina Allen. Now why would she trust him with this? And how'd she know Hackett would lose? 
No match. That's not Tina's hair on the microphone cord. Yeah? Willingham already confessed. You guys find something new? That is interesting, but not illegal in and of itself. See what else you can dig up. What do you need? Willingham already confessed. You guys find something new? Tina, Tina, Tina. You can't bet on fighters in your own league. This is enough to bring her in, but we still have to find out if she's involved with the killings. Ms. Allens, as you may know, Horace Willingham confessed to the murders of Rick Shimada and Hank Hackett. But we have reason to believe that you may know more about this than you're letting on. I know exactly as much as I'm letting on. Namely, nothing at all. If he confessed, then he must have done it. What? I look good in a bikini so I can't possibly own a business? I know just as much about the League as anyone, if not more. Why shouldn't I be a co-owner? That's right. About time, too. A woman can do anything a man can do. Anything? Look, this is Vegas. If you call someone in for questioning every time they make a bet, then I can understand why we've got so many unsolved murders in this city. All right, and what were you planning to do with your winnings? Start that women's league? What if I was? Everybody's gotta lose someday. Hackett sure lost today, all right. Look, there's a reason they call it gambling. I just made a lucky guess. Sure, I put the props away every night, but no one ever got murdered before. Besides, by the time Shimada was killed, the prop closet was locked, and I had no way to get in there. He did. I hate to see Horace go to prison, but this mess was his own fault. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. I just made a lucky guess. I picked up Miss Allen's personal effects when we booked her. Some odd kind of prescription medication. No label, but it does have an ID number. We could look this up in the medical database, but we'd need a warrant to access her medical records first. I 
wonder what this could be a key for. Wonder if Tina's key fits this lock, like a charm. What does that possibly have to do with anything? Mind your own business. The prop closet was locked, and I had no way to get in there. Yes, I had my own copy of the key. I am a co-owner after all. But just because I had a key doesn't mean I used it. just made a lucky guess. If there was any fight fixing going on, I certainly never heard about it. I have no idea what Horace was up to. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. in her medical history has any bearing on this case. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing interesting there. Nothing there. 
Nothing interesting there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing interesting there. Nothing. Nothing interesting there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing interesting there. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing interesting there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing interesting there. Nothing. Nothing there. Nothing interesting there. Nothing there. Nothing interesting there. Nothing. Nothing there. Maybe we'll have better luck with a different magnification. Those are keys to the same lock. Nisalum, an immunosuppressant. Why would she need that? Well, we could always ask her. It's just something I take for my acne. What do you care? Acne, huh? I don't think prednisolone is used for that. Lucky for us, we've got a doctor in the morgue who can tell us whether you're lying. Prednis alone? No, that would be a very bad idea. Whoever told you that is either very misinformed themselves or willfully misinforming you. I think Brass will want to hear this. He loves it when people willfully misinform. Always a pleasure. Let me know how it all turns out. What in her medical history has any bearing on this case?
Yeah. Okay, meet me in interrogation. He did. I hate to see Horace go to prison, but this mess is his own fault. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. Come on back to my office. We can discuss it. What do you need? What in her medical history has any bearing on this case? She was lying about this. What else is she lying about? Go ahead and look up those medical records. Let's see here. Apparently, Tina had an artificially high androgen level, which caused severe premature hair loss. The prednisolone was prescribed as an immunosuppressant for an experimental hair transplant procedure. But get this, they couldn't find a suitable spot on her scalp to get the hair follicles, so they transplanted follicles from another person entirely, which means the DNA in her hair doesn't match the rest of her DNA. We've been comparing the hair at the crime scene to the wrong DNA all along. gave you a DNA sample. Yes, but it's not your DNA we want.
Finally, it was Tina all along. Let's give her the good news. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. You were at the scene of both crimes. William copped to it. But it was you who overheard Shimada say he was going to the press. You who grabbed the katana and attacked him with it. And you who strangled him with the microphone cord when the katana broke. And then it was you who injected Hackett with a toxic chemical to keep him quiet. All because you wanted that woman's league no matter what the cost. Of course we have Willingham's confession. He'll probably just get life in prison. But then again, he might get his own lethal injection. He did all that for you. You're not just business partners. He must really love you. Are you gonna let him fall on his sword like that? You were pulling the strings the whole time, weren't you? I bet you even coached Willingham on his confession. Are you really that good? It was me and me alone. I take full responsibility. I, Tina Allens, killed them both. Hey, great working with you on this case. Can you believe it? Two murders, two confessions, one killer. I could say they'll get easier, but I'd be lying. Good job, you two. Case closed with minimal overtime. Just the way the taxpayers like it. Now go home and get some rest. You've earned it. 